Assalamu alaikum and welcome back once again to Today in African History with Baba Shaka. I'm Baba Shaka and today is February 25th, 2021. Today we want to talk about shoes, right? Everybody wears shoes. And for those of us who do not wear shoes, of course, we aspire to wear shoes. But most likely, wearing or shoe wearing, I should say, would not be possible or would not be the thing it is today without the name Jan Metzeliger. Who was Jan Metzeliger? Jan Metzeliger was an African gentleman who settled in the United States in 1873 and trained as a shoemaker. In 1883, he patented a shoe lasting machine that increased the availability of shoes and decreased the price of footwear. Unfortunately, he died of tuberculosis on August 24, 1889. Now, Jan Ernst Metzeliger was born on September 15, 1852 in Paramaribo, Suriname. At that time, it was known as Dutch Guiana, down in South America. Metzeliger's father was a Dutch engineer and his mother was an African woman. Showing mechanical aptitude at a young age, Metzeliger began working in machine shops supervised by his father at the age of 10. At age 19, he left Suriname to see the world as a sailor on an East Indian merchant ship. In 1873, he settled in Philadelphia. Now, after settling in the United States, Metzeliger worked for several years to learn English. But as a dark-skinned man, his professional options were limited, and he struggled to make a living in Philadelphia. In 1877, Metzeliger moved to Lynn, Massachusetts to seek work in the town's rapidly growing shoe industry. He found a position as an apprentice in a shoe factory. Metzeliger learned the cord weighing and trade, which involved crafting shoes entirely by hand. Now, cord weighers made molds of customers' feet called last, and they made this with wood or stone. The shoes were then sized and shaped according to the molds. The process of shaping and attaching the shoe or the, attaching the body of the shoe to its sole was done entirely by hand with what they call hand lasters. This was considered the most difficult and time-consuming stage of assembly. Since the final step of the process was mechanized, the lack of mechanization of the penultimate stage, which is the last thing, created a significant bottleneck. Right? Metal Legas set out to find a solution to the problems he discerned in the shoemaking process. He thought there had to be a way to develop an automatic method for lasting shoes. He began coming up with designs for machines that could do the job. And after experimenting with several models, he applied for a patent on a lasting machine. In 1883, Metzlinger received patent number 274207 for his machine. The mechanism held a shoe on the last, pulled the leather down around the heel, set and drove in the nails, and then dis discharged the completed shoe. It had the capacity to produce 700 pairs of shoes a day, more than 10 times the amount typically produced by human hands. Right? Metzeliger lasting machine was an immediate success, and in 1889, the Consolidated Lasting Machine Company was formed to manufacture the devices, with Metzeliger receiving a large amount of stock in the organization. Very good. After Metzeliger's death, the United Shoe Machine Company acquired his patent. Metzeliger's shoe lasting machine increased shoe production tremendously. The result was the employment of more unskilled workers and the proliferation of low-cost, high-quality footwear for people around the world. Unfortunately, Metzeliger was only able to enjoy his success for a short time. He contracted tuberculosis in 1886 and died on August 24, 1889, at the age of 37, in Lynn, Massachusetts. In 1991, the United States government issued a Black Heritage postage stamp in Metzlinger's honor. Right. So, today, or any day, when you're putting on your shoes, think of Jan Metzlinger, because most likely, those shoes probably wouldn't be possible without this African gentleman. All right? Well, once again, I would like to give a Special shout out to President Baba Mosi and the sisters and brothers of the Woodson Banneker Jackson Bay Division Number 330 UNIA ACL Rehabilitation Committee. 
That's the Universal Negro Improvement Association, originally founded by the Honorable Marcus Messiah Garvey and the African Community Leagues. Because these folks are helping to promote these daily lessons on their various Facebook pages. Because our goals are the same, and that is to enlighten African people to a glorious past. Right? So for those of you who have already subscribed, I once again I cannot thank you enough for your continued support. For those of you who are not yet subscribed, we ask you, or we request that you do so. We urgently request that you do so. Just hit that subscribe button, become a, a member of the family, and hit that little bell icon. That will let you know right away when we put up one of these videos, which we hope to do every day for the rest of the year. So, until tomorrow, inshallah, this is Baba Shaka with Today in African History. Masalam.